back in the shop. Today we're starting a pretty cool project. We're going to be building a custom eight foot pool table with custom felt. I'm building this pool table from the ground up. So I'm going to go ahead and make the box. We're going to bam that together and then we're going to work on those legs. I'm going to bam these together with the pneumatic and then I'm going to go back there and screw them on. So now we'll cut this one off here and this piece overlaps that one which gives it strength and then when I put the other end cap on there it overlaps that joint but by going past it I'm overlapping the joint and I put a bunch of glue on there when I screw it together. Things going to be sturdy and strong. So that my friends is a pool table base. Now we're going to take our cardboard template and in theory we should be able to take that middle one, put it on here and it should break the seam on both of these. It's a good thing you're using like nice straight cardboard for this. The moment of truth. These have been around probably longer than you have, Wyatt. I know. That's why, that's why I was saying earlier, it might be time to remake them. Hey, look at that. Money. Money, money. So when you bolt the slate on the frame, they're kind of angled. So we're going to be able to go down through our braces. We're all square. This is a pretty dang nice base. Our sides are four inches thick. So see this right here? That's how much of the side we're going to have to dish out. And then the pocket goes right down in that and then you screw the leather pocket to what you've dished out. So we're we're on track. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. So basically this table will be that wide. Glued. What are we going to do next? Put the legs on, then put the side rails? Yep. The leg is going to be 8 inches square. We're going uh, 10 inches on our sides. They're 4 by 10. So it's going to be a beastie thing. It's going to weigh a lot when I'm done. We should be able to have this thing all put together by tomorrow. Except for maybe the felt. You have to refelt. I have to sides. order. I've got oh. felt coming. So it'll be ready for felt. But I mean, we can have the skeletal and the and all of the cosmetics done. Yeah, done and ready for all that. Less the the slate. And you got to get little tiny micro shims because this slate's got to be perfectly level. And a lot of times you have to just pound a little tiny shim in there to bring it flush. And then you can either use beeswax or bondo to do the same. And I like. I like Bondo. Beeswax, I probably ought to learn that because Bondo you have to wait and then you have to sand it and it's all dusty. And beeswax, you just heat with a torch and you wipe it on the seam and then you take your razor, your razor knife and clean it off. So I probably ought to look into doing some beeswax. Yeah. It would be idea. so much easier. Bondo sucks. The Bondo dust is horrible and you get it on your felt. You Never have to have clean. a tack cloth to clean everything. Okay, so now we need to figure out how tall we need to cut our legs. Because the plane surface is anywhere from 75 to 80 centimeters. And why it's in centimeters is beyond me, but that's... <laughs> it's a good thing you don't make any of this confusing, let me tell you. It's... The plane surface is around 29 and a half to 30 inches. So why did you say centimeters? Because I googled it and that's what it told me. <laughs> Obviously you're googling something wrong here. Uh, I better check my plan. Yeah, that, that's, that's a heck of an idea there. It's 27 and a half before the one inch slate. So you want 28 and a half to 29. Let's get them close and then we can just set it right on there. 
just like that. So the whole frame is setting on the leg system. Yeah. And using every part of the legs, not yep. just and one little bit. And what is the bit. height? We got 28 and a quarter. So, so after the inch from the slate, it'll be 29 and, and a quarter. quarter will be perfect. I like it. It looks good. We're going to take these 4 by 10s We're going to 45 uh, the four pieces. Then we cut out for the pockets. We've got all of our sides on. Miters look pretty good. Got a little bit of a gap osis on the bottom, but the beam was twisted. But once we cut this out, it's not going to really matter. The pocket's going to cover it. So now, what I need to do is get my slate template, this wonderful cardboard. Yeah. It's been used about 14 times. And this right here will determine where I notch out for my pockets. Come look at this bid. Come look at this pool table. Sweet. What do you think? Looks sick. This is for Verosco and his boys. Oh. Canab. This gets the Canab Cowboy logo on it. I don't think? like it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd look better with the Valley Buffalo. Oh logo. yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So where are you headed? We're going to do sprinklers. There's big horn sheep down there. Yeah. Videotape some of them. So, mom's head to the cedar? Yeah. Did she get you out of bed? Yeah. Is that why you're grumpy? No. <laughs> what do we want for dinner, steaks? Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be gone for like three days, I'm gonna starve to death. Where are you going? She's gonna be gone. She's oh, cedar. she's going, Don't yeah, she's gonna be gone. She's leaving you in charge? Me in charge. Of how many children? Just him and Hunter. Oh, you're gonna burn the house down. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you and Hunter together. Okay, we'll see be... Later, buddy. I'd see, the thing is, I followed the bar, but then I put the bar on upside down, so that really didn't help me out. Now we'll take the belt sander and just dish that out. This one, it's easier to do it on the table. A screw? Uh, yeah. It's where we. Uh, brand new chain. <laughs> yeah, this was did. flaking apart, so I put screws in there and I just hit one of my screws. It's still cutting pretty good. I caught it in time, but I felt I knew I hit something. Metal. Well, did some chainsaw massacre. You want to take the sides off to sand them? Might be easier. You boys ready for this? No. No? <laughs> no we're here at uh, in Kanab getting ready to install a pool table. You ready for this, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we're uh, here in Kanab setting up this pool table. It's a custom pool table. You have to stay tuned to see the, what's on the felt. It's pretty cool. Uh, but we decided to put it right here um, versus over here. That was our other option here, but I, I think it makes more sense right there, especially if this is kind of a hangout for the kids. And uh, Tony and Cade are packing up the slate, which I'll let them do because it's heavy. I'm glad Tony ate his Wheaties this morning. I don't think you guys realize how old I really am. <laughs> I realize you're two years older than me. <laughs> Those two years makes a lot of difference. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> so 
you're looking about 250 to 300 pounds per piece of slate. And they're uh, one inch diamond honed Italian slate. That's the best slate you can get for pool table. This is where he wants it. Make sure we're pretty level. And we may have to shim the leg system, but I don't think so. Okay, we got the first set of slate on here, and these boys are grunting the second one. Give them the heavy stuff. Yeah. Looking good. Let's throw the other one on there, and then we'll shim it. See, and then the beeswax, you meld it in this seam so the ball doesn't jump when it hits the gotcha. seam. I like it. The more, the more. All right, so we've got the base done. We've got the slate all put on here and leveled, and now it's time for the beeswax. And we're going to do a little tutorial because um, I'm an expert at this. YouTube University showed me that you take a little torch. See, that's already been beeswaxed once. We brought butane, right? Fill those screw holes first. Now I guess you can probably just feather it with the torch, huh? Yeah, look at that. Probably just put a chunk in the hole. And it's got to be better than Bondo. That cures pretty quick. So let's try. I think you need a bigger torch. I think so too. Like a map gas or something. Like a weed yeah. burner. Can I? Let's try that. You need a weed burner. <laughs> a weed <laughs> burner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because I think you need to go wider. I think you gotta let it cure from what I've seen. Then you scrape it. See that? Gets it to puddle. Yeah, I see why you want to wear gloves. <laughs> I think it's just supposed to go down in the crack and seal it up. How's it going? Well, once we went from the baby torch to this map gas right here, what slick. This is actually a really slick surface. And we actually went to a little wider trowel. But it it's amazing how how smooth that is. It's it is really smooth. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot better than Bondo. I've used Bondo in the past. Well, I've always used Bondo. This is actually my first beeswax uh pool table so I am convinced I'm a believer it's nice you can't even feel that seam so got all these holes done got the seams done just got to scrape this one and then we're ready for felt the moment of truth <laughs> see all those red cliffs out there okay. we're in Kanab City Utah and this here is some custom felt, and it's pretty cool. What do you think of that, Dave? It's pretty awesome. So to get all the wrinkles out of it, you start on one corner, come along the edge about halfway. Then I'll come clear up here to this corner, stretch it, put a couple there, and then stretch the other corners. 
So you don't just chase it all the way around? No, because... Kind of do it like a tire? Yeah. Like yep. a lug not, <laughs> like. Yeah, because if you, I've tried to chase it, and by the time you get over here... It's bound up. You can be off, yeah. and then you're pulling staples. And we don't want that. Here we go. Staple gun doesn't like the slate. No. <laughs> All right, so we got this side and across the bottom already stretched. Now I'm going to go down to this corner. And then you want to pull on a diagonal. And then see how it took the wrinkles out of that? And you want to get you want to get some good stretch going. We'll put Okay, so we've got this beautiful felt stretched. Check out the logo, Canab Cowboys. So Dave helped design this. I really like what you did with the gray. We, we had three or four different mock-ups and we had white felt with red logo. We had red, we had black borders. We did a number of things and the guy I work with is awesome. They'll, they'll mock it up like six times um, for the, the deposit. So, but I like what Dave wanted to do. See all the gray? So all the border that hits red is gray. And then if you come down here, this is a distressed reclaimed beam and all the pockets, all the, all the cracks and the knots and everything, we uh, just, when they were distressed, we hit those with the gray stain sanded it off and then went over it with the early American. So everything complements everything. The gray here complements that and even the the rails have a gray accent in it. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So these corners and sides are tricky. So the pockets are kind of tricky because as you can see, look at that. I mean, it's not gonna just stretch down around there you have to make a little triangle piece, a couple of them, and then you stretch them down. And then this excess that I cut off, if need be, I can put that up in there and kind of hide the, the wafer or the, well, it's a particle board or the slate. So here we go. Here goes nothing. So we're gonna come in, find center, come in about yay far and then make a little triangle. More of a diamond, I guess. See, and then you can stretch that down. But you gotta, it's kind of tricky because you need to go far enough that you can stretch it, but not too far. So you want to take this right in there about like that. And then this will stretch down Right here, you got a little bit of your uh, particle showing. And you really don't see that unless you really pay attention. But what I like to do is go ahead and cut a little tiny piece. and Just put it right in there like that. Because we have it, we may as well do it. So, but the only way to get that to stretch over that is you have to cut those on sure. a little triangle do hanker so and then you can go to the underneath and so and then you got to cut these out the hell's that that's to bolt your rail down oh and i've got to that point before and forgot like where are they? it's no fun <laughs> got the cowboy uh logo felt stretched tony is building uh, side rails with pockets. Um, I found it's best to just put them together upside down on the floor because you got these goofy little holes right here that you can't you can't put the leather pocket on once the rails attached to the slate. So you have to put the pockets on first. I like to get them on, just kind of get them snug, and then. Uh, 
we'll get Dave up here to help us and we'll just lift it back over onto the table. But I've got uh, all my pocket holes, the felt is stretched. The old cowboy is centered, perfect right in between. And another 30 minutes, we'll be uh, shooting a game of pool. We got this puppy together and it's beautiful. It is a nice table. Dave and I are gonna shoot a little game here and I'm gonna break and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I have not shot pool for a minute. As this is a quick, quick bumper. So watch me scratch on the break. Good, that's one I'm gonna win. You better chalk your stick a little bit. I'm not, no, don't chalk it. <laughs> not right now. I would not, because we don't have a red. Did you make? I didn't do a thing. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, well. I left you some options though. Yeah, you got some stripes. And... I like the bigs, they're gonna end up with good. <laughs> Clayton, you're in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah. I think I am in trouble. Ah, <laughs> oh, not that bad. Just set you up. I don't know. Well, I gotta... Yeah. I oh. Hey, what happened? Did you forget to... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we need to screw left. the last one. That's why we play a game. <laughs> How do we forget that? I have to go grab the screw gun and that little thing. I haven't shot pool for so long. Oh, that's locked, but... <laughs> and there went one. Long shot all the way down yeah, the field. Yeah, it's a long shot. We'll see how we do. Oh. And another one in the corner. <laughs> That's the sloppiest corner of the whole time. Oh. Let's see. All I got, I got that three ball still. That should be just like a straight shot right in the hole. You would think. It is. <laughs> Just like that. And oh, too hard off the rail. Too hard. There's just a lot of play. <laughs> so let's go. Shoot the eight ball, it'll go. Yeah. Oh yeah, the eight ball will go. <laughs> I'm thinking. Well, anyhow. Get fancy, cross side. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, we'll just break them up for Dave. Too I'm gonna go in the damn sloppy corner. <laughs> I'll catch it. <laughs> Maybe. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. I can I too. sneak past? Get the two ball in? Maybe. Testing the rails. Oh. There you go. Help me wow. out. Now we're even. Ah. E. Cross corner. Bing. Oh, sweet. Maybe. Right in the slop corner. Oh yeah, see how oh, that yeah. travels? You don't have to hit it hard. Ah. Kiss it in the corner. In the corner over there, so you scratch it in scratch. this one. <laughs> or miss some balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 14 is going to make my life difficult. Oh, look at that. Now you're lined up for no. trouble. He's lined up. to catch it. Yeah, I think that 14 would have went cross side. Yeah. 
That's all right. Clayton will break it out of there for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> unless he just straight in wins. Don't scratch. I don't think I can get past that 14. Let's see if I boom, 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 boom. Is that we're going there. Hit the side. Yeah, maybe. Oh, <laughs> watch me scratch. Yeah. That would suck. Well, I set him up for 14. Yeah. This nine's been giving grief. Oh, is that the nine? There it is. Nope, short. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's so dumb. <laughs> I better go with that yeah, one. Yeah, you better go inside. <laughs> Blame it on Clayton's table. That was uphill, is why that ball yeah, stopped. That's right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> And there, ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed the longest game of pool in the world. <laughs> okay, this uh, pool table is a wrap. We uh, appreciate you watching, and we will catch you on the next one.